So now finally we come to 7268 which is the final step here in deciding the augment it. The Sutram 7268 says Vibhasha Gama Hana Vida Visham. Vritti says Ebhyo Vasor Itva. Very simple Vritti. It says that following one of these four verbal loads the affix Vasu takes the augment it optionally. So the affix Vasu optionally takes the augment it when preceded by one of the following verbal loads which is Gam which is Gam Rigatav in the Bhadiganaha Han which is Hana Himsa Gatyoho in the Adadiganaha Vid which is Vidr Labhe in the Tudadiganaha or Vish which is Visha Praveshane also in the Tudadiganaha. Now this Dhatu Vid belongs to more than one Ganaha. It is more than belongs to one than more than one classification. So how do we know to take only Vidra Labhe here from Tudadiganaha and the Siddha Dhantakamudi says Vishina Sahacharyad Vinda Ter Grahanam because this Sutram mentions Vida Visham. So Dhatu Vish of course is only in the Tudadiganaha. And because of Sahacharyad, because of association with the Dhatu Vish in this Sutram 7 to 68, Vid also stands for the Dhatu only from the Tudadiganaha. So that's how we know in this Sutram Vid stands for Vidra Labhe. Okay, so what do we have? We have Ja Gam Vasa. So we do have the Dhatu Gam which is specifically listed in 7 to 68. Following that we do have the affix Vasu. So now Dira Gamaha is optional here. The augment it is optional. So the first case when you do apply the augment it then what do we get? We get Ja Gam it was 7 to 68 and Adhyanta Takita the Iragama of course joins at the beginning of the affix was remove it later Takaras it sanya halantyam tasya lopaha we get jagam ivas and now 6498 applies 6498 let's not forget the angakaryam 6498 says gama hana jana khana ghasam lopah kinityanangi which we have studied before it says esham upadhaya lopah ajada kiniti natvangi so we have a affix which is ajadi pratyaya in this case after pranidagama we have ivas it's following the verbal root gam which is listed specifically in which is listed specifically in 6498 is a kit pratyaha because the pratyaha is kwasu. So the conditions for applying 6498 are satisfied. So we get the upadhayaha lopaha, akarasya lopaha, the upadhaya akaraha takes the lopaha and we get jagma ivas, becomes jagmivas. Jagmivas gets the prajvadik sanya by kritjaja samasa cha. Now in the idabhava pakshe, when we don't apply the augment it, then what happens? We get jagmivas. And the augment it is prohibited here because the augment it is only optional by 7 to 68. So in the case where the augment it is prohibited, we remain jagamvas no iragamaha. And then comes a sutram 8 to 65 to replace the makaraha by a nakaraha. And that sutram is 8 to 65 moscha. It's not a very common sutram. It applies mainly in the Vedic situations. But here we need to apply sutra moscha to replace this makaraha by a nakaraha in the idabhava pakshe. So that will be the next sutram which we will take is 8 to 65 moscha.